In this video, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about metformin, especially what it does to the body and about specific side effects. This is especially important if you are about to start metformin or you're already established on it. I'm also going to answer three frequently asked questions in my clinics. Does metformin cause low vitamin B12 levels in my body? Will I lose weight or put on weight when I take metformin? Will my blood sugar level drop too low? These are really important questions that I will answer at the end of this video because you should be fully informed when making a decision about taking any medication. This video will help you to understand more about metformin and allow you to make a better decision about taking it. So let's get started. So what is metformin? Metformin is from a class of medicines called biguanides. Its chemical name or generic name is metformin, but it is most commonly known by its brand name, glucophage. Managing blood sugar levels with medications like metformin can prevent complications such as kidney damage, nerve issues, blindness, amputations and sexual dysfunction. Effective diabetic control can also lower the risk of heart attacks or strokes. So what is it used for? Metformin is used to treat type 2 diabetes and diabetes during pregnancy. It's also used to help prevent type 2 diabetes if you are at high risk of developing it. Sometimes it is prescribed to help women with their fertility if they have polycystic ovarian syndrome. So how does metformin work for diabetes? Type 2 diabetes is a condition where the body does not make enough insulin or the insulin that it does make does not work properly. This can cause high blood sugar levels. Insulin is the hormone that controls the level of sugar in your blood and metformin helps make your body respond better to insulin. Metformin also helps reduce sugar absorption in your stomach or intestines and helps lower the amount of sugar your liver releases into your blood. So what's the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes? In type 1 diabetes, the body doesn't make any insulin, so blood sugar levels rise very quickly and it can only be lowered by taking insulin injections. Meanwhile, in type 2 diabetes, there's often quite a lot of insulin around, but the body doesn't respond to the insulin called insulin resistance, and that's where metformin helps out. How and when do you take it? Metformin comes as two different types of tablet, standard tablets and slow release tablets. Standard tablets release metformin into your body quickly. You may need to take them several times a day depending on your dose. Slow release tablets work gradually so you do not have to take them as often. Metformin tablets come in different strengths of 500 milligrams, 850 milligrams, and 1,000 milligrams. The maximum daily dose you can take is usually 2,000 milligrams a day. It's best to take metformin tablets with or just after your meal to reduce the chance of getting side effects. Swallow your metformin tablets whole with a drink of water and do not chew them. So what is the starting dose? Your healthcare provider will check your blood sugar levels regularly and may change your dose of metformin when necessary. When you first start taking metformin standard tablets, you'll be advised to increase the dose slowly. This reduces the chances of getting side effects. For example, one 500 milligram dose with or after breakfast for at least one week, then one 500 milligram dose with or after breakfast and your evening meal for at least one week, then one 500 milligram dose with or after breakfast, lunch and your evening meal and so on. If you find that the side effects of standard metformin are affecting you too much, your doctor may suggest switching to slow-release tablets. Are there any interactions with other medications? There are some medicines that can affect the way metformin works. If you're taking any of the following medicines, 
your blood sugar levels may need to be checked more often and your dose changed. Steroid tablets such as prednisolone. Tablets that make you pee more such as furosemide. Medicines to treat heart problems and high blood pressure. Male and female hormones such as testosterone, estrogen or progesterone. Other diabetes medicines. Contraceptive pills. So can you drink alcohol while taking metformin? Yes, you can drink alcohol while taking metformin, but it's best to drink no more than two units per day. Drinking more than this can increase the risk of low blood sugar. Try to keep to the recommended guidelines of no more than 14 units of alcohol a week. So who can take metformin? Most adults and children aged 10 years and older can take metformin. So who may not be able to take metformin? Metformin is not suitable for some people. To make sure it's safe for you, tell your doctor before starting the medicine if you have ever had an allergic reaction to metformin or other medicines, have uncontrolled diabetes, have liver or kidney problems, have a severe infection, are being treated for heart failure or have recently had a heart attack, have severe problems with your circulation or breathing difficulties, if you drink a lot of alcohol, you may need to stop taking metformin before having surgery and certain medical tests. Tell your doctor if you need to have a test such as an x-ray or a scan involving the injection of a dye that contains iodine into your blood or surgery where you'll be put to sleep. So what are the common side effects? Feeling sick or being sick, diarrhea, stomach ache, loss of appetite or a metallic taste in your mouth. So what are the serious side effects? Call your doctor or emergency services if you get a general feeling of being unwell with severe tiredness, fast or shallow breathing, being cold and a slow heartbeat. This can be a sign of lactic acidosis or the whites of your eyes turn yellow or your skin turns yellow. This can be a sign of liver problems or a serious allergic reaction to metformin. These are not all the side effects of metformin. For a full list, see the leaflet inside your medicine packet. So now I'm going to answer three commonly asked questions in my clinic. The first one is related to vitamin B12 deficiency, which I have discussed in a different video and I will leave a link below. Taking metformin can cause vitamin B12 deficiency if it is taken over a long period of time. That's why it is advisable to have a blood test at least every year to check your vitamin B12 levels. And if they are too low, your doctor may prescribe vitamin B12 supplements. However, do contact your healthcare provider if you feel very tired, have muscle weakness, have a sore red tongue, have mouth ulcers, have problems with your vision, or have pale or yellow skin. The second question is related to losing or putting on weight whilst taking metformin. Metformin does not cause weight gain unlike some other diabetes medicines. Using metformin may lead to a modest weight loss and in various clinical studies, when metformin was used alone, it led to a weight loss of approximately 1.5 to 8.4 pounds in patients. Many clinicians consider metformin a weight-neutral treatment, meaning it does not cause a significant amount of weight gain or loss. Weight loss can occur if combined with a change in diet and increased physical activity. People typically gain back the weight that they've lost when they stop taking metformin or when they start other diabetic medication such as sulfonylureas or insulin and the weight goes back on. And lastly, the question that is related to getting low blood sugar, also known as hypoglycemia or hypos, and is usually where your blood sugar is below 4 millimoles per litre. Metformin does not usually cause low blood sugar when taken on its own, but hypos can happen 
When you take metformin with other diabetes medicines, such as insulin or other combination medicines with metformin, early warning signs of low blood sugar include feeling hungry, trembling or shaking, sweating, confusion, difficulty concentrating. It's also possible for your blood sugar to go too low while you're asleep. If this happens, it can make you feel sweaty, tired and confused when you wake up. Low blood sugar may happen if you take too much of some types of diabetes medicines. Do not eat meals at regular times or skip meals. Are fasting. Do not eat a healthy diet and are not getting enough nutrients. Change what you eat. Exercise too much without eating enough carbohydrates. Drink alcohol, especially after skipping a meal. Take some other medicines or herbal remedies at the same time. Have a hormone disorder such as an underactive thyroid. Have kidney or liver problems. You can monitor your blood sugar levels with a glucose monitoring machine and do tell your healthcare provider if you notice your levels are too low. I will provide the links to any studies below. If you have enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see new videos that are posted every week. And hit the notification bell if you want to get notified about new videos. And please make a comment in the comment section to tell me what you enjoyed about this video or what topics you'd like to learn about. You can also check out my other latest videos.